Hi, and welcome to the show. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a look inside a TomTom GPS. I think it's a TomTom Go 430. This one needs a battery replacement, so whilst we're in there, we'll have a look around and see what makes a uh, TomTom Go. All right, so first things first, gotta get in. And there's no obvious way in. Oop, you can feel something under that sticker in a couple of different spots. The edging around here is very flush. So there's no obvious um, way forward, possibly underneath the power button, but I seriously doubt that. And there is the possibility of popping this back off. But I'll leave that to a last resort. Um, there'll be a speaker under there, I would dare say. So I would probably start by looking at this sticker at the bottom, seeing if I can peel that back, because there's definitely something that I can feel under here, and something that I can feel on the equivalent side over here. Um, and we'll start there. All right, let's see if we can take a uh, slightly closer look at that type of screw. Uh, yep, so it looks like a security type screw, and I would dare say once I get the uh, once I get this off, there'll be another one just there. All right, I'll start by getting in there. Okay, so I just popped off the uh, speaker from the back. Uh, no screws holding it in, it's just um, clips. Just unclip that, pop that open. And as you would expect, it's just a, pretty much a standard little speaker. Not a bad size, uh, with uh, just two wires connecting that to the rest of the device. But nothing that's relevant just around here uh, holding the device together. So I'm gonna pop that back on. Yep, just like that and continue trying to uh, separate this case okay being fairly gentle although it might not look like it um, using a you know all approved case opener tool like I always do fairly gentle uh, the two screws that are on the bottom of the device in here underneath the sticker so these two tiny little screws uh, they do mount through you can see the two uh, mounting points, the two mounting positions there on the bottom of this um, faceplate. And that faceplate, once you've got that unscrewed, will simply just lever out from the front of the TomTom. -tom. And at this point, yep, there we go. So there is a flat flex ribbon connector underneath the LCD um, that takes you through to, okay, it's like a bolf, bifold type, so it'll fold this way and then lever that way slightly. But the main part that I wanted to get to is obviously the lithium-ion battery here. Um, this looks like it will f disconnect fairly easily. Yep, so I'm going to have a go at that now. Okay, so just levering this connector down slightly, just fingernail pressure is, is fine. Uh, and that should just work its way free as long as there's no other connections in there. Okay, it is, there's a small amount of adhesive between the flat flex ribbon connector here, the connector, and there's a tiny bit of adhesive on this metal plate at the back. So just lever that off slightly and then the screen just comes out. So that's the LCD taken away from the main body. So 
Set that down there. My face plate. So from here, we're looking inside the TomTom, uh, -tom, and mostly, most of the good stuff's actually gonna be behind this shielding. Okay. So that in the, on the bottom there uh, is the reset button, and as you see, it comes through to a little switch just there. Uh, let's have a look around the board a bit more. Not a lot to see, unfortunately, because it is all, uh, the best part will be underneath this shielding here and underneath this shielding here. So power button on top here, and again goes through to another little switch just in there. That's power on via this plastic lever. And the battery probably glued in. I'll just give that a little bit of leverage. So I've applied a reasonable amount of pressure there to get the glue to release but it has, and you can see that entire pad is a tacky pad, just stuck into the uh, back of the GPS just in here. So this battery is completely dead, and the connector for the battery looks like it goes under here somewhere, so this board's going to have to come out. All right. It's mostly free. Yep. Okay, so the easiest way to get this is to lift it out from the top first. There's uh, the power connector is actually recessed into this little socket here. Um, so you want to get that out and then give it a bit of movement this way to pull it free. But free it is. So on the back of the board, uh, there is the little connector for the battery and that's what I want to take out. Uh, and we do have a bit of Samsung, I would dare say that is a bit of Samsung memory. I'll just go a bit of zoom on that. That's a bit of Samsung memory. The uh, power connector itself, it's a bit of a, 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 a mini USB, not a micro. And not much else to see traces and passives and so on and so forth. Uh, a couple of modules in here and here. Um, I'll just see if I can get a better look at those two once I've disconnected the battery. Okay. This is the, this here is the uh, microphone connector. Um, Another form of IC, and another up here. Oh, that almost looks like a tiny little relay package. Oh, I've got a few numbers on that. And again, um, a few passives. Uh, this is the connector for the battery. Not much else to see. Um, and yet, yeah. USB power, oh, and data actually, power and data. Uh, a bit of memory, and on the other side of the board, uh, again, not a lot to see. Um, a couple of major shielded packages, here and here, and mostly just passives. Well, not very exciting stuff. There's your entire board. Uh, your little, uh, I would dare say, that is the uh, GPS antenna. Uh, and that going through to the GPS antenna module and controlling circuitry in here. And the main chip, which does the bulk of the work, will be sitting under there with the bit of memory that you saw on the back. So there's your entire GPS um, LCD connector. Um, and yeah, the bat battery and speaker connectors on the other side. And that's all there is to it. But I can at least get this battery out. This one is completely stuffed and replace it and get the GPS up and running again. So there we go, a quick little look at the inside of a TomTom -tom GPS.
Under this main package, uh, we do have a few parts. We'll just get nice and close. We'll have a look at those. Okay. Nothing that I'm familiar with, but um, we'll do a bit of homework on these chips to see if we can get any uh, information on them. It looks like a little memory. And obviously these are normal GPS's um, are programmable with the uh, maps and so on. So they have to have some sort of flash memory on board. Okay, no, can't tell what these are. And what have we got in the back here? Oh, an ARM CPU of some sort. quite make out those numbers under there. Well, there we are. Underneath at least one of those packages that it, um, I could uh, uncover uh, for a bit more detail. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome, so feel free to subscribe. That would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.